Welcome back, everybody, to the Weekly Source. Very excited to have you here. And we've got our first returning guest. So we've got Mark Ryder, Head of Innovation over at NFP. Mark, welcome uh, welcome back to the Weekly Source. Thanks, Neil. Honored, honored to be first of something. So that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, goes without saying, things things are a bit different now. I think when we were sitting together, we were talking about digital transformation and, and things changing. I mean, from your vantage point over the last year and a half, is it revolutionary? Is it kind of truncating trends we had already been seeing? Like, talk a bit about that. Yeah, so a lot has happened uh, in the last two years. We've kind of taken a journey um, from an innovation perspective. You know, when we spoke, we were really focused on uh, our innovation lab and, uh, you know, becoming, um, you know, very knowledgeable and trying to become knowledgeable of what was happening in the market, who the players are, what technology was coming into play, where we saw the disruption or the enhancements coming from, and, uh, you know, trying to become a scholar of what was happening. And to answer your question, I, I think that the pandemic and everything COVID related has um, accelerated uh, the roadmaps of many companies um, accelerated our roadmap and our, I think, adoption of digital um, transformation and digital strategies because of it becoming more of a necessity than a, what was perceived to be a nice to have. No, that's, that's helpful. I think if, if you can, can you unpack or unpack a bit about what what is the digital transformation strategy? What does it mean for um, your customers or the head of HRs that are are coming to your your brokers, your your staff, and saying, "Hey, we we need help, kind of transitioning." I mean, can you talk through, I guess, some of the tactical pieces you're seeing too? Yeah, you know, I, I would say, um, you know, folks ask, "Is this customer facing? Is it account team facing? Is it you know individual employee facing?" And and the, it's really D, all of the above. Um, when we think about it, we we observed in the market that many of the new uh, tools and solutions that were coming to market, uh, you know, through our observations via the lab, uh, were very much data driven, um, and it makes sense, right? And and then you you look at that, and then you look and you look at more of uh, overarching market trends, and you see technology advancing at a at an accelerating clip, and you see statistics about the availability of data, um, you know, more data produced in the last two years than since the beginning of time, ninety percent of the data produced in the last few years since the beginning of time. It's a mind-blowing step, but it's, you know, right. I checked, I guess you'd say. Um, and then you see APIs that uh, you don't even need to know what they are. You already do if you're shopping on Amazon and, and uh, utilizing Facebook and Google and whatnot, because those, you know, outside of insurance, they've been prevalent and they've helped make change. Those type of uh, connections are, coming, are now coming and becoming more present in the insurance industry. And all of that together, um, drives the need for personalization. People, individuals expect that the data that's coming to market um, is going to be used uh, to better their lives in some way. And then if you're uh, managing data on behalf of your customer, you better be able to use that data to help drive better business decisions. So all of that being known, we, we kind of stepped back and said, hey, if we're going to embrace any of these tools, we need to be operating in a digital fashion from the get-go. And as we bring new tools and solutions to the table, taking that data and adding to the data lake so that we can help our clients make better decisions. And first, I, I love the term data lake. I had learned that recently um, with Amazon acquiring rights for the PGA Tour. They talked about having X amount of hours or, or amount of, of their data lake. So it's like every golf shot ever existing um, being now available on Amazon. So that whole concept is really cool. And it was a new term for me. Um, but like any any good lab, right? The innovation lab, there there's trial and error, there's testing, there's hypothesis. I mean, what from your standpoint has worked, what has not, and and really what are you excited to try next? I would say, you know, what has been most successful is the realization that the change needs to be in the field. I mean, you hear all these statistics about corporate innovation failing, and I think it's because they form these units of a gazillion people that sit in a different room or a different building and they dress differently and they act differently. And then the belief is that they're gonna come swoop in and presto magic change everything and, and that doesn't work. So I would say, you know, what has worked is really engaging our offices and our advisors and our IT team and everybody has really just, you know, stepped up and, and has been really kicking ass along the way um, of making change happen. 
Love it. You talk about excitement. I mean, you guys have a, a bunch going on now at NFP. I know you've got your trends report coming out. Um, you and I had spoken last week about NFP Connect. I mean, uh, w- what's going on on your end that you look at the next couple, three, six, 12 months that um, you're, you're just really fired up coming out over on the NFP team? Yeah, so, um, so NFP Connect is, is, is critical to our, our growth and our future and, and not to, to get too deep into that, but that is the fabric that brings and supports our digital transformation. It is the, uh, the engine that brings um, everything that we do together uh, from a best practice perspective, from, from account management, um, out to you know, sharing information with our customer and ultimately engaging digitally with the end user. Um, we're really excited, you know, about opportunities I talk about extending into new markets. Um, I'd say the other thing is the fact that um, the adoption has been, sol- I mentioned this before, has been solving for problems. So on our benefits side uh, last year, one of the problems that we needed to solve for was clients uh, were concerned about the impact that COVID was gonna have on their claims and or their rates and premium. And so we had some folks in the field um, that built a model uh, out and um, around how to bring in CDC data and overlay, put that over top of um, census data to drive some output to help guide our customers. And we were able to use Connect, the central resource, to build that and scale that so that every one of our offices. So similarly, um, fourth quarter, you probably felt this was met with, the, the buzz was virtual open enrollments or virtual benefit fairs. So again, we, that problem you know, or challenge was presented. Um, the Connect platform in a central way allowed us to build some functionality, allow our account teams to execute on it. And it was key, execute in a nimble fashion and deploy solutions for our customers in the fourth quarter to the extent of, you know, where we, I think we had 35,000 visitors to, you know, 300 plus um, virtual benefit sites that we created. So really cool stuff. Wow. And now it's the field that's saying, okay, if we did that, what's, what, what can we be doing in that same realm and build upon that? And- right. Oh, that's awesome. Mark, we're, we're right at time. I, I really appreciate you coming on. It, it is crazy to your point. Two years feels like five. I know. Um, when we were together, we were talking about the future of the Eagles and that's you know, dumpster fire and, and yeah. you've had storm scares, COVID scares in Austin. And so I'm just thankful we got to, to connect. It's, it's, um, it's, a, it's an exciting time, I think, for you, from your perspective. It's a revolutionary time and I think the right mindset from HR leaders, leaders like yourself, it's, we're, in a, we're in a better spot for sure. Yeah, for sure. I know I appreciate it. And, and, and what you all have done at PlanSource have been engaged quite a bit with your new leadership team and your new head of IT and product. And, and uh, you know, this isn't something you guys ask me to say, but I truly do believe that where you are headed and your mindset um, will allow you guys to continue to shine at the top. So congrats on that and, and keep it going. And uh, yeah, you were going to ask me how what my thoughts of the Eagles were. I was going to say go Sixers. Uh, that's what happened. Yeah, right, right, right. Flyers, Sixers, uh, Phillies are starting. So, yeah, it's always optimistic of the next season. But, right. Mark, really appreciate you coming by. Um, looking forward to this getting out. I think it's a, a timely message, and uh, we'll, we'll see everybody who's viewing. We'll see you next time on the Weekly Source. Thanks. Pleasure. Thanks, Neil. Appreciate it.